How do plants grow? For kids. Plants are everywhere. There are many different kinds of plants that grow all around the world, on every single continent. Today, we are going to talk about the things that plants need in order to grow. Are you the same height as you were when you were one year old? How about when you were five? Every year, you probably grow a little taller and get a little bigger, which is awesome because that means you are growing, whether it is human life, animal life, or plant life. All living things need certain things to survive, be healthy, and grow. So, what helps plants grow? Plants need four main things in order to grow. Just for fun, let's call them the core four. The core four are soil, sunlight, air, and water. Let's talk about each of these things individually and then see how they all work together to help plants thrive. First up is soil. Many of the nutrients plants need are found in soil. These nutrients include nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And what do these do? Well, nitrogen helps make a plant's leaves green. Phosphorus helps create large flowers and a strong, healthy root system. And potassium helps a plant fight off diseases. All of these nutrients help keep the soil healthy and create the perfect place for a plant to grow. Soil also gives support to plants and prevents them from falling over. Next up is sunlight. The sun is a super important part of plant growth. Plants use the energy from the sun to make their own food. Here is an interesting fact. This food-making process is called photosynthesis. Talk about a big word. Let's say it again, just for fun. Photosynthesis. Even though sunlight is important, it has to be the right amount. Too much sun, and a plant may wither and die. Too little, and it may stop growing. Plants receive carbon dioxide, or CO2 from the air, which helps with photosynthesis. That means that the CO2 molecules in the air work with the sun to help plants make their own food, which in turn helps the plant to grow. Here is another interesting fact. During photosynthesis, plants release oxygen, or O2, into the air. This oxygen is breathed in by animals, including humans like you. Which is why plants are a vital part of keeping our planet healthy and alive. Last is our good old friend, water. Which is also necessary to keep plants alive and help them to grow. The water a plant receives helps bring the nutrients found in the soil to the plant through their roots, stems, and into their leaves. And like sunlight, it is important for a plant to get just the right amount of water. It is pretty cool to see how soil, sunlight, air, and water all work together to help plants grow. Were you surprised that plants need some of the same things that you need? It is pretty cool to compare and contrast, right? Beyond the core four, there are two other things that help plants stay healthy and strong. The first is temperature. Most plants grow well in warm daytime temperatures and cooler nighttime temperatures. If it is too hot, plants will dry up and die. If it is too cold, they will freeze. Second, is space. Plants need enough room to grow into their full size. Without this room, 
plants will not be able to develop deep enough roots to allow them to grow the way they are meant to. And if they are overcrowded, they might suffer from disease or not receive enough air. We have learned a lot about plants today. Are you ready to review? Let's do it. Fill in the blank. The process that plants use to make food is called blank. Photosynthesis. True or false. A plant can never have too much or too little water. False. Plants need just the right amount of water in order to stay healthy. This amount depends on the type of plant. Can you list the core four that plants need to survive? Possible answers include soil, sunlight, air, and water. True or false, plants release oxygen into the air that humans and other animals breathe. True. Fantastic job, friends. No matter where you live, plants are a necessary part of life on Earth. And just like people, plants need air and water to survive. Whether it is the tallest redwood tree or the smallest wildflower, plants are constantly growing and helping keep the environment healthy and safe. It is pretty cool to know that all life on this planet is connected. The next time you take a breath of air or drink a cup of water, think about what you have in common with our green plant friends. And maybe you can take a nature walk and see how many different types of plants you can identify. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.